Well, 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 look who it is. It's a bunch of nerds. Let's do this one next. Um, it's a Little Big Robots, everybody. Uh, how you doing? Howdy, Rubits. Um, please subscribe if you enjoy small robots and videos about small robots, because that's what I do on this channel. Little versions of big robots. Uh, this is a 144 scale um, 30 minutes missions kit. 30 minutes missions, if you don't know, are built to, are designed to be built uh, quickly, in, like literally in 30 minutes. They're known for their cheap price, 10 to like $20. The really expensive ones are maybe like 30, 40 for like a limited edition. But these are my favorite, one of my favorite lines ever. I put off collecting them for a long time. I thought, oh, it's too late. But then, no, they, they, they uh, where they get a lot of their bulk of their uh, extras are in um, color variations. So if you want to skip a color variation and, and just collect the suit, you can do that. This is the Spinacio. Spinacio. Um, this is a like a grunt suit. No, it's not a grunt suit. It's like a specialized, like a um, ninja kind of, like more of a, a slick, lean, fast uh, mecha. Um, whereas uh, 30 minutes missions typically are more like this. And I'll be reviewing this one in just a minute. So you'll see this on the channel in a few days. So they're more like that. Um, so these guys, I, when I first got them, I thought, ah, oh, you know, they're trying to make like space ninjas and stuff, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not in the, I just want like a cool looking grunt or a basic, basic bot. And when I built these spinachios, I think it's the fourth one I've built. Um, just, I, they're one of my favorite things because they're, they're, yes, you build them in 30 minutes. But once you're done, you get this really, really, um, just, it's just a fun thing to play with. I'll give you an idea on some of the differences here. So this one I just reviewed, you might have seen it before. So here's like more of a, you know, a ninja type. Notice it's like a quote unquote female kind of, it looks a bit more feminine. It has a larger head. Um, it's supposed to be like, you know, kind of like, looks like a female suit in a way. And then you've got your standard 30 minutes missions kit. They come in all sorts of colors. Generally though, uh, bland colors, you know, oranges, some reds and stuff like nothing super neon or anything like that. Um, but this is no difference. The, the, what you're basically getting here is kind of like a skeleton, kind of like an inner frame. Oops, sorry. That you would then uh, use to um, stack on armor. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. The shield's nothing fancy. You literally just have a plug. So these guys have all over them these little plugs that a lot of modelers might not like, you know, because it's like, ah, oh, you know, you gotta cover them in or whatever. But that's the, kind of the idea of the line is that you're supposed to be able to plug and play and do whatever you want. But for me, I think it's kind of part of the lore or whatever that they're, you know, you can outfit these guys with other things in the field. As you can see here in the artwork, you know, they literally show the same holes. So they're not afraid of these these attachment points. They don't try to hide them, you know. They're like, no, no, that's that's our that's our thing. As you can pull this guy up in the in the you know in the battlefield and put whatever you want on it. I love how they just put simple weapons. You don't have to symbol all of them, and they literally just slide into the fist. Um, the the stuff looks good. Um, I've never had really a, a horrible looking weapon from Thirty Minutes Missions, but they always are kind of plain. So you know, it's just it, that's not really what they're known for. So this is a, the army type. I think it's supposed to be more of like, you know, a front line, like, you know, literally a soldier, whatever. They are super duper poseable. I'm not gonna go through the posability stuff because that's boring, but also because if you think you can do it with one of these guys, you can. But what's cool is you can see how he's armored up. Very, very simple. But then you can just start taking the army off, armor off, and you get down to, uh, I'll, let's, I'll leave the skirt part on. You get down to a basic looking uh, bot that just has a cool, I like realistic looking uh, bots that look like, you know, the army pops in and drops them off in the field and pops out and they're just like these real slick, speedy little things that don't need much of anything, you know? So with the armor off, you can already see how he's starting to get much more slick looking. Um, this back part is cool, but it looks like he's wearing a diaper right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off, get you down to the, to the bear bot as it were. Um, they're built really simply. The, the joints and stuff are built to, see? So you got just a really simple, thin looking humanoid robot. Now I'm gonna leave the shoulders on for now. I'll show you what those are all about. Um, it's nothing really surprising as far as the build. You've got this interesting gimmick they use with the, you can see the ball joint right there. So that's how they do a lot of the scrunch stuff. Um, the neck is long so that you can get all these crazy views of the head. You can put them in all these crazy, crazy positions without having um, it, 
you know, it's just it's all meant to be a simple way to deliver posability and stuff like that. So so they do stuff like build a neck that's a bit longer. Really, really simple stuff. They make sure it has clearance. Um, not all heads uh, work equally on all kits, but in general, all these parts are hot, hot swappable. Now, with the, the arms that I showed you before on this guy on every spinatio, they're really, really cool. This is the only part I don't really, really like is that when you pull off the shoulder pad, let's say you want to make it less shoulder paddy looking, so more like just a normal kit, you can see that gap right there. I always go over this. All you do is you pull that off and you put in the smaller piece and it closes the gap. Um, it's kind of finicky to me, so I just kind of always just leave the short, I take the shoulder pads off usually and I leave the shorter, I, I, I close that gap with the part. I just kind of prefer it. But I like them in this kind of, I guess you'd say naked state where they're just kind of a cool looking, you see what I mean? Like they would be dropped in a drop pot or something and they would pop up and be really fast you know, but if you want to throw on all the armor and get crazy with it, you can. Um, so that's, it's a cool option as well. But all these little bits, you could probably add extra arms on there. You could do whatever you want. A lot of them have these little connection points. You can use some of the different parts. I'll show you here. Let's see if I can get this off here real quick. And by the way, that's all you have left after you're done. These are meant to be built in 30 minutes with a few, with leftover, very little leftover plastic. So you get a part like that. You should be able to pop it right on there. And then you can mount whatever you want on there. You can mount this, the uh, thing here like that. You can mount your shield right there. You could, uh, you know, see where you could put the gun. You could probably mount the gun somewhere. Uh, no telling. Oh, look, see, they even have one on the shoulder. So you could take that same mount, put it on the shoulder pad, mount a weapon or, you know, heck, mount the shield. I, I don't have all my stuff with me right now, but you could put that on there. So they're meant to just, you, you're just, as you start messing with stuff, you just start throwing stuff together. You can just build a unique look that all has a similar look. There's a genericness to the whole line. But as you can see, just from the, the kind of first gen suits to now, they're definitely making them look more sleek and humanoid, but still keeping that roboticness. That's what I wasn't enjoying about number 57 lately is they started to get away from the humanity. I mean, from like the human shape, making like animals and stuff, which is really cool, but I prefer a humanoid looking robot that you know either does work like literal work in the docks or something <laughs> you know lifting stuff or is an or is just a, a soldier you know grunt soldier but it's cool you can do you can, any position you think you can put it in you can probably put it in these are insanely posable um dirt cheap the line is just meant to be so accessible that it, it just blows me away there are some little weird parts where was the one little weird part i showed i saw before oh it's in the next one i'll show you in the next one some of the knee areas can be a little bit flimsy um, and you know like you get the parts like you see the gap there you get that sometimes you really got to be aware of so you got to keep that pressed down but as you mess with them they do get more loose but honestly I've had some of these like this one I've had for a while and you can see he's getting pretty loose but again you can replace the poly caps put a new one in there you've got, I've got like you I'm sure you know I've got a box of four million different poly caps you get some leftovers so you can kind of tighten it back up after a while but and not, again, another great Spinatio kit. Absolutely love it. I recommend every 30 Minutes Missions kit I've had so far. They're so fun. And I just, it's like, it, they're just a perfect, perfect line. I just love it. Have a good day, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.